Hello everyone and a very very warm welcome to a very interesting session from the platform of Economicspedia. So as you all know that uh, in this new year of 2023, Economicspedia is back with a bang of a very new mission and a very strong mission to help across the globe 5 lakh students and in every aspect, especially if it is related to economics. So with that mission, we are here again to reach out to every one of you. And today we are here with a very interesting topic from the stack of econometrics. And well, this is a very specific part of econometrics uh, concerning the time series data. And uh, the topic, as it is, you can see written on the board, it is types of error. Now, in econometrics or in statistics, this is also a very important part of statistics. General statistics, those who are from the statistical background can find this topic very interesting. Because this is a very small topic of hypothesis testing. Now, why I am taking a sub part of an entire topic uh, which is uh, hypothesis testing? One might, uh, you, you can think of this question. So, let me just uh, explain it to you why I have taken one sub part because um, I have seen this uh, for over uh, recently over a few months that students get confused between the uh, different types of error, especially the type 1 error and the type 2 error. Well, uh, let me also tell you this two types of errors are very very important whenever we are talking or preparing for any competitive exams. Right? I think uh, you are aware of what I am talking about. So, this is the reason I am taking up this session today, a very crisp session, but we are going to talk about only the concepts and the concepts and the concepts. So wait till the end and get it clear what is uh, what are the two types of errors and um, I'm sure after this session it will be helpful to you to remember what is this. All right so without any further ado let's begin with the type 1 error and I'm going to write type 2 error right here. Type 2 error so as i mentioned right so these two are a part of hypothesis testing it means what hypothesis testing as the name is very much suggestive that um, we are here to find out some probabilities whether to accept whether to reject whether to um, get affirmed uh, relations between the variables or the situation maybe whatever the uh, the condition is so, finding probabilities concerns some amount of uncertainties. I'm starting a little bit, uh, I'm going to take a step back to make you understand the first concept of hypothesis of testing, right? So, uh, it concerns some, it, it is involving some of the uncertainties. We are not sure what is going to happen, but we have to take a decision whether to accept our hypothesis or not. I hope this is clear. So concerning with this area, we are coming to this type 1 error and type 2 error. Okay, so these are the parts. Now, this type 1 error and type 2 error depends on alpha and beta. So what are these alphas and beta? Let's discuss that. Whenever we are talking about type 1 error. So before that, we are formulating two things. What are those? We are formulating hypothesis, right? The null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. So whatever in null hypothesis we are writing no relation or no significance of the variables or whatever, however you want to put it. However, the alternative is it is saying yes, there is a relation. Right? These are the only two hypotheses we have. Now, 
depending on our testing that means which type of statistics we are going to choose which type of uh, till what is the confidence interval we are going to have upon those things we are going to ultimately take a decision whether to accept it or to reject it right so, coming to type 1 error as the name suggests it is an error right so there has to be something wrong so type 1 error is rejection of a null hypothesis when it is true so that means we can say type 1 error is rejecting true null hypothesis that is our type 1 error right and it depends on alpha as i mentioned previously so what is this alpha it is the level of significance right so level of significance is what we can choose it right according to our own requirement we are suggesting what is the level of significance it should be so type 1 error depends on alpha okay so there is now the question arises is there any way through which we can minimize this um, type 1 error you can pause the video and think for a minute is it possible the answer is yes so wait till the end because i am going to discuss how we can reduce type 1 error before that let me just show you diagrammatically how this type 1 error actually looks like right so uh, we have our axis and let's say we have a distribution this is a distribution of what it is a distribution of null hypothesis right so this is h not distribution and let's say this is my alpha okay so here it is appearing type 1 error i'm i i hope you can just see it if you can't follow my words all right so this is the place where we are actually getting the type 1 error now so it is type 1 error i hope this is now clear it is a rejection of a true null hypothesis so coming to type 2 error what is this type 2 error now you can again pause the video and give it a shot just to check whether you got it or not so it is what accepting a false null hypothesis right so this is again an error again something has to be wrong so what is that is that will be wrong if we are accepting something which is actually a false hypothesis then it is arising as type 2 error and it again depends on beta so what is this beta this is again the level of significance of uh, for the type 2 error okay i am going to take another diagram to make you understand how this type 2 error looks like so this is our axis and let's say this is again my distribution of my null hypothesis okay and over here on the left hand side of the distribution let's say this is our beta so this is our null hypothesis distribution and this is our beta so this this portion the shaded portion is type 2 error and here we have this as the shaded portion okay now is it over <laughs> i don't think so because uh, we have to understand one and a very small things uh, again conceptually so uh, through this alpha i'm just taking up the uh, situation of this type one error alpha this is the level of significance right so through level of significance what we get we get the p value right why we need the p value for our inference keep it very simple no need to go to any uh, so from here we are getting the p value now you can write it if my p value is lesser than this alpha if this is the case p value less than alpha 
then it is a significant statistically significant situation under that case we can say that it is significant so uh, we are actually accepting the alternative all right so after this uh, two types of testing one again very interrelated uh, concept is regarding the statistical power this is a term that uh, we we generally hear whenever we are talking about these types of error so you can need this diagrams so uh, the next part talks about statistical power very lucid terms it is the power of a test to detect any real effect if there is any so if there is any real effect real effect as in using the hypothesis right so if there is any real effect between the variables among the situations whatever it is if there is one then it is the statistical power of the test that determines it all right and what is type 2 error uh, is it there any relation between type 2 error and statistical power the answer goes yes yes there is a relation between type 2 error and the statistical power how so this is my type 2 error okay it is inverse of the statistical power it is inversely related you can put some uh, coefficient this is just a very coefficient because uh, it is not proportional so this is a proportionative constant so this is how type 2 error is relate inversely related to the statistical power of the test of the test okay so this is one small tip regarding the type 2 error and in the same way i'm also going to give you one small uh, additional information regarding type 1 error how we can reduce our type 1 error now think it conceptually what is the one thing on which the type 1 error depends alpha right the first thing that i said before this beginning of the session it is the alpha so that is level of significance on this the type 1 error depends so we can lower type 1 error if we reduce our level of significance so this is how we can take control of our um, type 1 error all right so coming to the last part of today's session i'm going to end the session with two questions yes two questions to you uh, please feel free to write below in the comment section because i think we are going to have a great detailed discussion in the comment section uh, regarding these two questions is there any trade-off between type 1 and type 2 error if it is then what it is next is type 1 error or type 2 error worse i mean i want the answer like are they comparable and if they are then which is the one that is worse okay i hope the questions are pretty much clear so please go ahead and below in the comment section i want to see what are your thoughts by the way if you are looking for the answers of these questions you know what to do the details are appearing on your screen you have to feel free to contact us and i'm sure our team is going to put all the things to you and um, till then keep your preparation level up because uh, it's not over until we are done right so on that note i hope to see you in one of my next sessions very very soon till then thank you so much for the unlimited support unlimited faith unlimited belief that all of you have on economics media thank you so much we recently touched our 8,000 students and aspirants across the globe. Thank you so much once again. I hope to see that we are reaching the 10,000 of uh, young minds 
and um, very aspiring students very soon. And also, this is Sumita Viswas from Team Economics Pedia saying bye bye.